just to love. And be loved in return. The Moulin Rouge. A nightclub. A dance hall. And the bordello. Ruled over by Harold Siddler, a kingdom of nighttime pleasures, where the rich and powerful came to play with the young and beautiful creatures of the underworld. And the most beautiful of all of these was the woman I loved. Sadine. A courtesan. She sold her love to men. They called her the sparkling diamond. And she was the star of the Moulin Rouge. I first came to Paris one year ago. It was 1899, the summer of love. I knew nothing of the Moulin Rouge, Harold Zidler, or Satine. The world had been swept up in the Bohemian Revolution, and I travelled from London to be a part of it. On a hill near Paris was the village of Montmartre. It was the centre of the Bohemian world with musicians, painters, and writers. They were known as the children of the revolution. Yes, I had come to live a penniless existence. I had come to write about truth, beauty, freedom, and that which I believe in above all things, love. There was only one problem. I had never been in love. Luckily, right at that moment, an unconscious Argentinian fell through my roof. He was quickly joined by a dwarf dressed as a nun, Toulouse. They were writing a play, something very modern, called Spectacular Spectacular. Unfortunately, the unconscious Argentinian suffered from a sickness called narcolepsy, and before I knew it, I was upstairs standing in for the unconscious Argentinian. There seemed to be artistic differences over some of the lyrics to the songs. They loved it, but Toulouse's suggestion that Audrey and I will write the show together was not what Audrey wanted to hear. But how were they to convince Zidler? Toulouse had a plan. They would dress me in the Argentinian's best suit and pass me off as a famous English writer. Once Satine heard my modern poetry, she would be astounded and insist to Zidler that I write Spectacular, spectacular. It was a fantastic plan. I was to audition for Satine, and I would taste my first glass of absinthe.
we were off to the Moulin Rouge. And I was to perform my poetry for Satine. This one's for you. The Bohemians have a show. While the celebration party raged upstairs, I tried to write, but all I could think about was life was, now Satine was in the world. But in his new investor, the Duke, Zidler, had got much more than he had bargained for. The show would go on, but Satine would not attend the Duke's supper that night, or the following night. We would, instead, write.
unless you sleep with him tomorrow night, the Duke will have Christian killed, said Zidler. Send Christian away. Hurt him to save him. The show must go on, said Dean. And then she found me. Christian. I'm staying with the Duke. After I left you, the Duke came to see me. And he offered me everything. Everything I've ever dreamed of. He has one condition. I must never see you again. That's how the story really ends. There was only one way to be sure. I had to know. So I returned to the Moulin Rouge one last time. I've come to pay my bill. Thank you for curing me of this ridiculous obsession with love. But as I walked off, I heard Satine start to sing. Never knew I could feel like this. It's like I've never seen the sky before. I want to vanish inside your kiss. Every day I love you more and more. Listen to my heart. Days turned into weeks, weeks turned into months, and then, on one not so very special day, I went to my typewriter and sat down and I wrote our story. A story about a time, a story about a place, a story about the people, but most of all, a story about love. A love 